Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In today's video, we will be talking about uh, local.conf, uh, the Yocto's configuration file, which is at the very heart of uh, how to specify the settings or where in fact to specify and what settings to specify if you want to have certain features in your embedded Linux image which you want to generate. Uh, all my tutorials are, or, or all these videos are all are for Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's the board which I'm covering. So, uh, so everything you see in my videos for uh, related to embedded Linux, uh, I'm talking about Raspberry Pi 4 in, uh, in general. But I'll also explain uh, where you can specify some other board related features if, uh, if they are applicable. So let's look at my what is my configuration file. What are the settings inside my configuration file, which I had used to generate a embedded Linux image, which supports uh, Qt as well as which supports uh, direct graphics as well. So let's have a look at the settings. So this is my local.conf file. So before we start, uh, make sure to watch my other. Uh, other embedded Linux videos in the series that should give you an idea how to install Yocto if you are still a beginner, how to install Yocto and uh, how to create an image and those kind of thing. Uh, this video is specifically for, for situations where you want to have certain features in your embedded Linux image and you want to specify those uh, settings and so what should you do basically. So let's go through these settings. Hopefully once you uh, once you actually listen to what I have to say, maybe you may find it useful. I mean, just see if, if it is of any use to you. Right. So here we go. Okay. So the first setting, which I think is very crucial and which is, of course, oh, most of us would need is something called as machine. So that's the setting here. That's what it is in my file in my local.conf. It's a machine. It's a setting called as machine. So here you can specify what type of board you want to build the embedded Linux image for. So here I have specified a Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, you can specify whether you want to have a 64-bit uh, image or not. In my case, I am not not using a 64-bit image, but I just went with a 32-bit one because there are uh, problems with Yocto and 64-bit. So if you are encountering issues in building your embedded Linux image, make sure you do not do not build with 64-bit options. So I have just specified Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, this is also the place where if you use uh, want to use uh, some uh, say some different board like uh, like a Beagle board or some other SBCs or some other single board computers this is where you will be specifying that. Alright so that was the machine setting for you and now this and if what are the features so there is another setting called as machine features. So here you can specify, for example, if in your Raspberry Pi, if you have a, if you want, if you want your embedded Linux to support a real time clock as well as uh, the Bluetooth module. So you can specify it here. So as you can see in my, in my setting, I've specified that I want to use a real time clock as well as, as well as features, uh, as well as this embedded Linux should support uh, Bluetooth. So, which can be specified in machine features setting. And another important uh, setting is license flags whitelist. So, I have, spe I have specified to commercial. Uh, this is needed for Qt. If your embedded Linux has support for Qt, and specifically if you are building uh, the Qt web engine, uh, which it requires this setting. Otherwise, you will not be able to build your embedded Linux image, uh, which uh, supports various uh, codecs, uh, which can play all the web media. So this is the setting to target uh, if you are looking to build your image, uh, embedded Linux image with uh, Qt features, license, flags, whitelist. Okay, so next uh, settings are, so I'll scroll down here. So these are uh, the settings which are related to the hardware side of a Raspberry Pi. So if you want to enable uh, the serial port in in the embedded Linux image, so which if it should have the support for serial ports, so that you should be able to connect uh, various hardware devices to your Raspberry Pi and it should be able to recognize them, then these are the settings to target. 
So there is a setting called as enable UART, which I have set to one. And same way, if you want to enable the I2C as well as the SPI bus on your Raspberry Pi, then you should specify them here. So it is enable I2C equal to one, enable SPI bus equal to one. And if you want the support for the camera, so if you want your Raspberry Pi to or the embedded Linux image to support camera, so this is the setting which you can turn it on. And if you want to disable the splash screen, the disable the Raspberry Pi logo, which comes on your screen. So uh, I think this is for uh, the rainbow color screen. If you want to disable, sorry, that's my mistake. If you want to disable the rainbow screen, which comes when you power on your embedded Linux image, this is what you have to uh, choose. Disable underscore splash equal to one. This will make sure that when your Raspberry Pi, when your embedded Linux boots up on the Raspberry Pi, it will not show that a rainbow screen. Okay, next setting is the time zone setting. So it's called as default time zone. In my case, I have specified it to GB, which stands for Great Britain. So depending on your country and wherever geographical location you are, you can uh, specify that. So I have specified it to GB. Moving on to the next setting. Uh, I, the next setting, which is very crucial one, which is specifically for Raspberry Pi and which is very important, is called as RPI underscore extra underscore config. So this allows you to, uh, if you want to uh, rotate the screen, uh, which you can specify the parameters here. So as I've specified LCD rotate equal to two, and if you are using a real-time clock module, you can also specify the DT overlay here, which I have done. And also you can say that I want to turn the audio on. So this is the setting to target. If you want your embedded Linux image running on the Raspberry Pi to support audio related features. So make sure you target this setting RPI underscore extra underscore config. So when a Yocto builds your embedded Linux image, this will be uh, written to the settings for the Raspberry Pi itself. And uh, scrolling down, uh, I'll see other important settings which can be used. So just uh, before we go to the next setting, I'm sure you already know, or in case just even if you don't know, this local.conf uh, file is created in your build folder. It's present in the build directory. I will cover that in the in some other video. What is the build directory? How to create those uh, directories and how to install Yocto if I uh, if I have not already covered. So, but uh, so please make sure to watch the other videos in the series, embedded Linux series, and that should make it clear. So now, uh, what are the distribution features which you require in your embedded Linux? So in my case, I am saying I want the support for Pulse Audio, I want the support for OpenGL as well as USB host. So the, I should be able to connect hardware devices to my Raspberry Pi and at least those will be enabled in the hardware of the of the embedded Linux image. And uh, since I want, I do not want an X Windows support or I am making Qt applications which will be uh, right, which will be interacting with the Raspberry Pi using eglfs. So I don't need X11 or Wayland or Vulkan. So make sure, so there is a setting called as a distro features remove. In that you can specify what are the features which you do not want in your embedded Linux image. So I have told, I have, I am specifying it to Yocto that I do not want the support for X11 or Wayland or Vulkan. So this will ensure that I have the support for eglfs, which uh, then I can use my a Qt application to uh, when I write my Qt uh, when I write my Qt applications they will still work uh, with the Raspberry Pi LCD screen as fast as possible and another setting which can be useful is if you, whether you want what type of uh, scheduler support you want so I am using uh, so this is a setting virtual runtime init manager I am saying sysv init so this is the scheduler the task scheduler which I am using, virtual runtime init manager equal to sysv init. Again, a very useful setting to be to be used uh, for your embedded Linux image. This uh, 
this actually if for example if you want to specify which uh, or uh, which script can be run when your pi boots up and what type of uh, sh uh, what type of script uh, they should be so this is how you control it using this setting and let's go to the some other next important setting so again this is something which i found useful from a, a practical purposes is uh, something called as uh, rm underscore old underscore image which will ensure that if you already have an image an old image that will get uh, deleted before yocto starts to make your new image so which will save space because these embedded linux they can really take a lot of space i think each run takes about 100 gb or 150 gb so a disk space can be a problem so this will help you to make sure you manage your disk space efficiently on your uh, on your ubuntu or on on your uh, desktop ubuntu and again there is a setting called as inherit so for for inherit make sure you specify rm underscore work uh, this again will make sure that uh, it will remove all the working folders before uh, before starting to before starting to build the embedded linux image and uh, i go down now i go to the next setting okay the other setting which i want to uh, Uh, talk about or which i think can be useful to you which was extremely useful in my situation is to specify what uh, should be the format of the final image which you get the embedded linux image uh, which should make it easier to burn on to the micro sd card so that uh, the setting name is image underscore fs types image underscore fs types so in my case as you can see i have specified it should be rpi hyphen sdimg so it is a raspberry pi related uh, sd card image and this makes it extremely easy to just uh, distribute your embedded linux image if required you can just uh, use that file and uh, use tools like uh, belena etcher to burn this image on to the micro sd card and then you just put the sd card micro sd card into the raspberry pi and uh, boot your image so i think this is very important setting and i think you should it will be definitely be very much useful to you and uh, you can also keep a, a backup of your embedded linux image in a very easy way if you want to you don't have to use any other kind of tools or other techniques to create uh, partitions manually on uh, other things really so i think uh, this rpi and hyphen sdimg is a very important uh, setting for image underscore fs types the next setting is uh, image underscore root fs underscore extra space uh, this setting uh, dictates how much extra space you want to allocate on to on to the micro sd card or on to the embedded linux so that uh, uh, when you actually uh, make the final image uh, this much space will be at this much empty space will be added to that so in my case i have specified that i want a empty space of uh, uh, 10 gb to be added to the embedded linux image so what that will do is when you uh, when you uh, when you put the micro sd card on to the raspberry pi and actually start your image or um, then uh, when you do a disk check it will show you the disk free space as at least of 10 gb they should make it extremely easy if you want to have your own data which you are creating whether you are running some applications or running some tools uh, otherwise they will not be able to find a uh, free space on on that uh, on that partition or on that device so make sure to use this i was actually missing this setting uh, which was causing me a lot of grief really so uh, the name of the setting is image root fs extra space make sure to use this setting okay i think that sh should be all as far as the setting goes and if you are just a beginner as uh, most of us i think uh, were at some point when we are trying to play with this extremely complicated process of creating our own embedded linux it will be helpful to show where this file actually resides so i'll just open my file browser so in my case i have installed uh, yocto in opt folder so there is a yocto folder poki and i have, this is my build directory raspberry pi 4 is my build directory inside that there is a conf folder and there is a file here local.conf 
which contains all the settings which you have seen here. Hopefully this should make it somewhat easier and if you get stuck while you are creating your own uh, embedded Linux or if you are trying to add some features or if you are uh, basically wondering what settings to change if I want to have this feature, if I want to have Bluetooth or if I am installing a real-time clock module in my, part, uh, in my Pi and uh, what settings do I need to change so that in my embedded Linux image I will have, uh, I'll have the support for those features. This is the file to play with. And uh, I hope that uh, this small video actually you will find it useful. Please do leave your comments and if you want I can do another video which will cover in a lot of detail what do those other settings do. But I think to start with and to start creating your own image to which you can then uh, use to play with other features. I think uh, this setting should be good enough to start with. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.